Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to make ourselves a butterfly dome and an aquarium, and um, then go from there. So let's start with the butterfly dome. Um, we will pin that, and we need all of that stuff to make it. So we need a zeolite, two supers, a tree bark, and uh, looks like, oops, uh, both a T1 and a T2, T2 fertilizer. All right, now, let's refresh these. Oh, we're starting to see some nitrogen in there now. I think, uh, you know, once you get to breathable atmosphere, I guess, is when those start to kick in. I don't know. But we'll put all that in here for now. Oh, you know what else we're going to need to do? We're going to need to make some butterfly larvae. So it looks like we can make the Amel and the Chevron, or Chevroni, however you pronounce that. So we're going to need one of these, and we're going to need one of these rare larvae, and probably a mutagen, right? Yeah. Grab a muti out of here. No. One mutagen, one larva, and... Oh, yeah, and a fertilizer. Research. Okay, so now we have to grab another fertilizer. I thought I already had done that. Maybe not. Okay. So we got the larva uh, going. Now what we need to do is... Uh, okay, so we're going to try and attach the dome to here. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Nope, it's not letting me do it. Okay, so that means we need to extend our corridor out another uh, pod here. So let's grab one of those and two of those. All right, now let's try it. There we go. Nice. I think these are about the same size. Yeah, I think they are. Okay, so yeah, we just need to make the, the two larvae to put in here. And then that's going to contribute to, to insects. Very good. And then our overall bio, biomass and, of course, our terraforming index. Have an extra mutagen there. Now, as far as the fish goes, oh wow, that wasn't that didn't take long. We got the chevron. Okay, um, let's try for the amel. So we need a uh, what do we have? Okay, yeah, we need another furt. Oh, what's coming in? Is this just a normal? Yeah, that's just a normal asteroid or a meteorite storm. So let's grab another rare larva and another tier one fertile. Oh, come on, game. Are you serious? Jesus. Ugh. I <laughs> I can't even get to the to the bin. All right, well, I guess we're gonna have to wait on that. For Pete's sake. Okay, well, at least we got the chevrones in there. That's good. And uh, that is contributing 40, I guess, grams, GS, uh, to insects. In addition to the 16, I suppose, that it normally does. Or maybe that's the total. Not really sure. <sighs> All right, so yeah, we're going to have to wait for that business to finish. Um, so 
So what do we want to do? Yeah, we'll take the uncommon larva there. And another rare larva. Nice. Take both of those. Oh, it cleared out already. Okay, good. So let's grab another furt here. Fertilizer and a rare. And hopefully we'll get the... Whoops. We've got to stay in here until it kicks in. There we go. Hopefully we'll get uh, this one. We have another storm? Yeah, I think this is just a normal, no meteorite storm. So, what do we need to make the uh, aquarium? Yeah. Oh, right, circuit board. We don't have any circuit boards, and we don't know how to make them yet. So I'm thinking this might be a good episode for us to go exploring. Um, and look for some more... Oh, you know what? We do have a microchip there. Let's see what this gives us. Haha, <laughs> nice! T3 jetpack. We'll take that. What do we need for it? Two explosives, a super, and two Oz. Two, two explosives. Oh, it gave us the green ones again. Well, okay, that's fine. No, it gave us the the next level down. I guess it's just a crapshoot. That's fine. We'll use these. Um, I suppose we could do two butterfly domes. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? It's pretty. How much do those cost to make again? Eh, they're not that expensive. We could go for two of these and hope that we can get the better butterflies. I'm just trying to think what else we would put out on this side. Probably nothing. Uh, well, you know, we, we do have new buildings now, so I don't know what those exactly will entail. Like, there's this animal shelter, but that might not, might need to be on the ground anyway. Um, and there's also the Tier 2 Aquarium as well. Right, okay, so... Let's let's get the jetpack done first. Just need a super. Okay, so this is going to right now we have 100 uh, 170 propulsion. This will be 190. Okay, we can move even even faster. Look at that, scooching across the landscape. I love it. Let's get a drink. All right, so yeah, why don't we make another butterfly dome? Plus it'll make the base look badass. Uh, so we need another one of you, and we need another one of you, and another one of you. That, that, that. I don't think it... Yeah, I don't think it matters what order you put them in. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. And we'll pin this. Oh, I guess it was already pinned. So we're going to need another Tier 2 and a Tier 1. A Bark, a Zeolite, and two Supers. Okay, yeah, we'll put this one on the other side. Yeah. 
There we go. And hopefully we'll get the other two. I mean, preferably I'd like the, the two highest ones, but it's not that big of a deal. We won't really get major benefit from those until we can put out the actual butterfly farms outside because uh, they're a lot better than the domes, but the domes just look neat. Oh, there we go. Circapore time. Okay. That's what we were missing. Nitrogen, bioplastic. Okay. So, yeah, we can make that. You know what, though? There's so many out there that we could salvage. I still think what we're going to do is we're going to go out and do some exploring and salvaging. Uh, except for... Yeah, okay. So, what we need is we need to find microchips. Because I think it's the microchips that's going to get us to the tier 2 deconstructor. Because I don't think... I mean, I've been wrong about this before, of course, but... I don't think that's going to come through the, these blueprints. I'm not seeing that as an option. So yeah, that's what we're going to do for the rest of this episode. We're going to go do some exploring and some looting. So let's get... Uh, well, let's check our butterflies first. Okay, we're back to the chevrons. One of those... One of those, and one of those. I'll try this one more time. Hopefully we'll get the good ones. If not, then we don't. Not a big deal. Okay. I do like those fluorescent green butterflies. They are pretty cool looking. All right, since we're going to go out and about, let's take we'll take a couple of superfoods with us. But let's top off with normal food. We'll take one thing of water. We don't need to take any O2. Um, and I th yeah, I think we're good to go. So we are looking specifically we're looking for microchips more than anything at this point. Okay, we're going to start over here out in the desert because there is a bunker that we can go down inside of. We'll pass through our pretty damn thick forest here. <laughs> can we even get through it? Yeah, we can. At some point I'd like to maybe come down in, in here and put some grass spreaders just so we have, you know, uh, like a, a forest floor and it's not just sand. We'll see about that. Pretty sure we've looted this ship um, from of everything except for, you know, the big safes, which we need the fusion cells for, and the servers, which we need the tier two deconstructor. So that's really what we're after at this point. All right, let's go see what's down here. Got a Lerma seed and a message. Our ship crashed on this planet for an unknown reason. Many of us died upon impact. Some died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I have tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is deteriorating. I'm going outside one last time to try and find some water. Iklos. Okay, we'll, we'll be hearing from Iklos multiple times. Here we go. That's what we need right there. Uh, we'll take those. That, that. Uh, well, what the hell? Let's just take it all. Oh, are we underwater? We're underwater. How about that? He was out looking for water. Now his whole place is flooded with water. How ironic, eh? All right. We don't have a ton of room left. And since we are as close to the base as we are, I guess we'll go back. Mm, yeah, let's go back and drop stuff off. I don't believe there's anything left in that ship for us to loot. We could pop up to the top of the, the labyrinth and just see if there's anything up on top of those cliffs. All right, looks like we have a, just a normal, just a normal storm. Put this in here. Let's see what this microchip gives us. Oh, 
Oh, good. We got the good butterflies. Nice. All right, great. Let's go put those in the dome. So this guy's doing 166 on, or no, it's doing 88 grams per whatever on insects. This one's doing 76. All right, cool. Nice little start to the contribution of our insect situation. Not a whole lot yet, but it'll get better. Unpin that. Let's see what this next microchip gives us. All right, the tier three GPS satellite. We'll worry about that later. That's not important right now. Let's top off our food and go back out. Okay, so let's see here. I think what we'll do. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, that was close. Let's see if we can get up to the top of the labyrinth and see what's going on with that. I think we've already looted everything in this ship except for, again, the servers. I don't remember that for sure, though. Let's double check. No, we haven't. Okay. Oh, great. Terra tokens. That's the first we've seen of those. A um, hundred. Okay. Yeah, I guess I didn't loot this ship. Okay. Take that stuff. There's some servers we can take apart later. No microchips. No microchips. Damn it, Jim. All right. I think we did come in here and get a microchip early on. <sighs> okay, so let's put... Oh, good. Okay, now we can manufacture our own pulsar quartzes. That's pretty damn good. We have three spots. We want this, that... And probably the Lerma seed. This stuff might come back for someday. We'll see. Maybe when when we come when we come in here to get the servers, we'll grab it at that point. All right, let's run this back to the base too. Let's eat one of these to make room for this. Base is looking cool. Okay, we'll put the rocket in there and the cloth. Uh, we get enough fabric going and we'll, we'll be able to make our own. Uh, oh, we'll make a bin for it, but we're not quite there yet, I don't think. Iridium. Uranium. Pulsar quartz crystal meteorite. Nice. Let's grab that. Man, that's loud. Right on top of the base. Question is, can we get to the the goodies? I've got the some of them.
There's either two or three more down there. So we'll wait for the debris to clear. That's nice. I'll always take that stuff. Seeds in there, the food seeds in here. Uh, guess we'll put those in there. And let's just eat one now to, to top off. The rest of this goes up in the bio lab. Fertilizer, bacteria, and muties. Okay, everything's put away. Just have to wait for that stuff to get out of there. Let's do a save. Now let's see if we can get on top of the labyrinth. We should be able to climb up there from here. Oh, this is cool. Uh, yeah. This is the first time I've ever been up here. this uh, stuff has always been up here all along because I don't think there was any way you could get up here in early access version of the game. I don't see anything over on those cliffs. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There's a chest over there, so obviously that means there's got to be a way to get to it. But yeah, all these outer ones, I'm going to say, look at the butterflies, how pretty. There's no way to get over there. Okay, so we should be able to get up on that one for sure. Let me drink. Oh, it's because I have the deconstructor on. Okay, there's the vine right there. Oh, good. We needed that. That's what's going to allow us to make fish. Okay, can we do this? Yep. All right, nice. Very good. Another microchip. Why do you do that? Okay, there's a bunch of super over there at another chest. The question is how to get to it. Uh, we might be able to jetpack over there. Look at that. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Come on, man. What the frick? So irritating. Just mind the goddamn thing. <laughs> Don't understand. Don't understand why it does that. There's more super over there. Okay. Um, alright. We're not gonna take basic ore down from here. 
We'll take one of those to top off. We'll take one of those to top off just to free up a couple more slots. All right, we're going to leave the cobalt because that's basic stuff too. All right, let's go over here. those supers looks like we got a little bridge to get across over there I, it did it again why are you doing that i think i must be moving my my hand the wrong way or something i don't know it's just really weird you have to make sure that it's like highlighted not even highlighting that I don't know why maybe it's because I'm look at the view up here this is great this might be worthy of a screenshot here okay is it because I'm full let's do that no I think that's just a bugged Super. All right. Um, let's go across here. That's the... Yeah, that's the crate we decided to leave there. This one's bugged as well. Come on, game. You're killing me. And there's more supers over that way. This we're going to have to get a nice running jump. Well, we're out of space anyway. I don't know, maybe maybe it is because we're full. I wonder if there's another way up here from over that way. It's such a long ways down. All right, well, we're full, so let's head on back to the ranch and drop off this load. I'll turn that into rods later. Let's put this over here. Okay, let's see what we get. Construction menu filter. Uh, is that new? I don't remember that. Hides lower tiers of items from the construction menu. How much spot, uh, slots do we have? How many slots? Use proper grammar, OG. Or at least try to. <laughs> okay, a silicon, a mag, and a super. Silicon, a mag. Oh, and by the way, let's grab the rest of the... And let's just grab all of it. We're still very low on silicon. Um, you're full, you're full. You are not. And you are not. Okay, so we need the mag, silicon, and a super. Grab one of these. Okay, hides lower tiers of items from the construction menu. Oh, okay, I see what that means. So, for example, we don't see the T1 machine optimizer or the T1 or T2 or 3 drill. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, that's useful. And if you ever needed to actually look at that, you just pull the chip out temporarily. 
and then you can see all the lower level stuff. Gotcha. Okay. I'm down with that. Okay. What's next? That's what we needed. Ha <laughs> ha. Good deal. Now we can start taking servers apart and getting circuit boards because we are going to need them for later. Fantastic. Okay. So we just need a Zeo and a methane. There's three more crystals here. That's beautiful. Let's go over here. We're going to have to start thinking about separating out the nitrogen from the methane. How are we doing on power, by the way? Yeah, we're pretty good. Okay, so, um... Oh, I put the... <laughs> I put the methane in the thing. Okay, take a methane. And it also said we needed a Zeo. And what was the other thing? That's it. Fantastic. Now we can take servers apart. That's a beautiful thing. It is indeed. Okay, let's top off our, uh, yeah, top off our food. We don't need the O2 with us. All right, I think what we'll do is... Let's go to the... I mean, there there, there was a, a few more supers up on the top of those cliffs. I didn't see any more crates though that doesn't mean they're not there I just didn't see them but let's go in back into the big desert ship and take all the servers down and get a bunch of circuit ports we'll go left first yeah there's nothing in there Nothing down this corridor. Wish we could take those those apart too. Nothing down here at all. Okay. No servers at all on this side of the ship. What do you know? Let's go on this side. Here we go. Good deal. Okay, nothing else we can get to there for now. No servers there. We'll go up in a moment after I check the rest of these rooms down here. All right, let's go up. There's the fusion reactor. Okay, there's a server. That sounds like a superstorm. Of course it would come right now. This way. That can't be deconstructed. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to put all of this stuff in here just in case we get, are killed, and let's just go pick as many of these up as we can. Actually, this isn't a terrible place for a superstorm because there's plenty of room to get to everything. Uh, here we 
we go. Some over here. Yeah, this is actually a very good place for a superstorm because <laughs> we can see everything. I like the sparkle on the sound. That's cool looking. Um, all right. Not really anything more back that way. Here's a piece. What about over here? All right, I think it's, I think it's all gone now. How do we do? Not bad. That's probably the most I've been able to pick up so far from those storms. Not bad at all. All right. Um, let's just put all of that in there. And I'm going to leave all of that in there, too. I don't remember if there was a server up in the bridge here. Let's go take a peek. <gasps> oh, excuse me. <sighs> We can't deconstruct any of that stuff, can we? Nope. Yeah, that's that's kind of one gripe I have about the game is I wish we could deconstruct more stuff. You know, because it doesn't really make sense that we can deconstruct like those, you know, rack servers, but we can't deconstruct like the PC or even the frickin' chair, you know? And if, if the devs feel like that's too OP, well, then just don't give us as much shit, but let us do more because it's, I don't know, it's just more enjoyable, I think. Anyway, that's my two cents. All right, let me think. Is there anything out this way? We got the, the really big kind of like freighter ship over in the arch biome, but I don't want to go after that right now. Um... I can't think of any ships or bunkers this way. There might... You know what, though? Actually, I think there might be a bunker. Actually, no. I think there are two bunkers. Over here. I'm not... Precisely sure where to find them, though. We already hit that satellite. Is there a bunker up through here? I didn't notice that. Let's go over here. There's the big freighter. Okay. Well, let's hit this. That's very good stuff. Take that. We'll hit this blue chest here. Oh, look at that. Very nice. 
Okay, so we got ourselves a, another pressure fuse. Um, it's a... Oh, this is a production time divider. Oh, for production, right. I'm sorry, I, I was... I, I thought that was pressure. I mean, I just saw a PR and my brain automatically thought pressure. That's production. Okay, no, that's good too, man. That is really good, actually. We'll take it. I think there's another chest right over here. Um, okay, I've got a new tree seed. I thought there was a chest right before when you went into the cave here. That's the zeolite cave where we have our extractor. Yeah, here it is, right here. Okay, good stuff. We'll take that. And here's the chest up here too. Osmium rod. Some more Terra tokens. All right. We are going to drop the iron. Let's... Is there a food in here? No. Let's temporarily drop this. So I can loot the rest of this and take the crate down, but then we'll drop this and pick this one back up. And we are full once again. We haven't actually been in this cave yet, but this is a, um, this is actually a pulsar quartz cave and it's kind of, it's a little tricky to navigate in there. But we don't need pulsar quartz right now anyway, so we're not going to mess with it. All right. Is that a crate? Yes, it is. Let's just look inside of it. All right. Um, look at all the rocket engines we're getting. Let's eat a food. And we'll take the circuit board. Let's drink a water and we'll take our rocket engine. And yeah, there's just too much stuff there. I'm gonna have to come back for it because I don't want to waste any of that stuff. Yeah, we'll have to come back for it. Now I thought here again, I thought there was a freaking. why am I thinking there's a bunker around? this passage that goes down into the lowlands. I'm probably just mistaken. But I don't see it. You know, we're looking for like a little ladder sticking up out of the ground. Yeah, I'm probably just mistaken. Now we don't have room, of course, but I, I do want to go over here and see if I can find where I think there might be another bunker. Because it seems like most of that stuff is still in place from early access. I thought it was kind of near the pathway up to the warden place, but it, but it's down low. Yeah, like in this, right around in here. Aha! I was right. Okay. Let's just go take a look-see. Oh, look at all the stuff in here. It's just a single pod bunker. Really? That's all that's in there? You serious? 
Okay. Well, we'll definitely have to come back for it then. Let's consume these now. Some more Terra tokens. And again, we'll have to come back for this stuff. All right, to help us remember where it is next time, it's basically right underneath this second ginormous arch. Okay, cool. There might be some servers actually in the little starter ship there. This should be loaded. Yeah, it's pretty well loaded. That's right, we never switched that over to a tier three. That's still a tier two. I'll have to deal with that off camera. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. Um, yeah, this is the one we did already did, right? And it's underwater. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to go around to that ship, the one that's up on the hill, and get the servers out of those ships too. Uh, you know, just get the circuit boards. And then um, I think I'm going to work on setting up some more Tier 3 extractors. And I'd kind of like to get that done because the next big thing we're going to do is we're going to set up drones. And we're also in the process of doing that. Let's see where we're at here. How close are we to farms? Uh, here. Outdoor farms. Okay, we're still a bit of ways away. From, well, not super far away, but kind of far away. That's the silk generator. We can also use that for selling stuff. But what I want to do is I want to set up a, a big, massive farm for production purposes. Uh, okay, so... We have so much stuff. So much good stuff. Put all that in there. I'm going to need to make a bin for circuit boards. Um, can we make... We could potentially... We could do a farm here. Out in this nice green pasture area. Because it kind of looks like farmland. But I think I think I want to be near water though. But I also want it to be, you know, pretty flat too. Yeah, you know, I think probably the best place for us to do our farm is gonna be by in the starter area by the big lake. Because it's relatively flat and there's a bunch of deep water. And so I think that's what we'll do. But I guess what do we need water for exactly? If we wanted to up our algae production, we would need water. And if we need water to manufacture higher level stuff, we would need water, of course. Plus, I've always intended, as you guys know, if you've been watching me all along in this season two, I've always intended of setting up a, a big base over there anyway. So I think that's our kind of our tentative plan with that. But before I let you go completely in this episode, why don't we see if we can actually make our drone station now? So that way um, I can set up, I'll start setting up the tier three extractors um, and setting up supply and demand and stuff like that with them. 
Some of that I will do on camera, but I'm not going to do all of it on camera just because it can get kind of tedious. We need a bin for circuit boards because we're going to be having a lot of that happening. So let's grab three of these. Uh, I guess we'll put the... We could put the circuit boards here, I suppose. I'm not... Uh, not lined up well in my, in my stuff. This needs to come... Uh, the zeolite's actually not lined up properly. Well, neither one of these guys are. Supposed to, I was supposed to leave a gap there. Okay, let's pull this out to there. Okay, that's lined up. Um... We'll make this the zeolite. <laughs> so I don't have to move it again. We'll make this the circuit port. There we go. Okay, so we'll get that guy loaded up. Uh, put the uraniums in there. We're going to need... Here, let's pin the drone base. Oh, do we have three circuit ports? We only have two. All right, you know what? We'll have to set that up in the next episode. Yeah, we can make a fusion cell. We got the stuff for that. Uh, because, I mean, I can make a circuit board, but I'd rather go out and salvage those things. So the plan for the next episode, the first thing we will do is we'll get our drone base set up. But what I think I'll do in the meantime is I'll get... I'll try and get a few more tier three extractors set up so at least they're ready to go. I'll put you in there. You can go in there. Yeah, and I'll get the rest of this stuff put away. So do we have another normal storm? Okay. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.